So you finally got your add-ons in the right spot on your main character. Everything's looking super fresh, ready to go, ready for battle. And you have an alt and it looks like this. Ah, yeah, this is about right. Absolute mess. Gladius is all in the way. Uh, weird, random weak wars, different abilities in different places, and it might even look worse than this because this is at least a level 50 character and it saw some attention. But, but you want to go from this to this. Ooh, wow. So the first step in getting all of this set up is that hopefully you already did this and I recommend this in all the videos I make about all the add-ons I have is hopefully you have what are called profiles. If you go to your add-on section, interface add-ons, there's a menued list of all the things here that's going to make your life very easy. Some of them are not on here. You're going to have to have slash commands for. You can look that up in the add-ons themselves or I have a little list myself of the ones I personally need to look up. Personally, I think they should all be here, but oh well. And hopefully as an example here, you have something called profiles set up that all have the same name, ideally if you want to be organized. But these profiles profiles are going to save your butt across the board. So there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the messy character and fix them up. Okay, so everything's everywhere. I, I literally hate this feeling I have of all of this clutter. I could not even play this character functionally if I wanted to. My maps overlap, my quest log, I can't even see where my buffs are. Everything's everywhere. So I'm going to find some peace and quiet for my own self just to be able to do this here. And I'm getting guild invites. What's going on here? I'm going to now go first of all, and I'm going to show you this little image right here. This Excel sees the personal one of mine. It tracks my character's best in slot lists, uh, different talent specs that I want to have, different bookmarks for different websites, etc. There's lots of stuff I have in there for my own personal use, and you should have one for yourself as well. One of the things on that list is an add-ons guide for my alts. So whenever I make an alt, I just click this. I see this image as you see in front of yourself and I'm going to go through here. So on that list is a menu. So I'm going to go to the menu ones, interface add-ons, and I'm going to go through here and just switch all the profiles across the board. Angry Notes and Bagnon don't have profiles. Battlegrounds Enemy does. So I'm going to go to profile and I'm going to switch over to 6.0. Done. And this one doesn't have it. This one doesn't have it. This one does. But for this, you have to open this actual options panel here. You go to profiles here and you can select profile here in details it does have one in there it's a little bit clunky to get to and this interface in general also is clunky for details but you can already set this up right here there you go DC 6.0 and I go on to the next ones and I keep going through every single one of these profiles select the profile and I'm finding it all the way across the board dominoes profiles warrior no 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 6.0 cool and I keep going all the way through some of them have them some of them don't you'll get more familiar with it and that's why I have a list over here of which ones I need I have Khalil's next and here's Khalil's I go to Khalil's and I'm good to go that mapsters next Mapster does have one, Profiles, go, and this does not take long at all. Sometimes you get a warning reload thing, go ahead and say yes, it'll reload your UI and you keep going. Look at this already looking better. I'm going to go back to interface add-ons and I'm going to keep going through this. Here's another good example of the, for my quartz cast bar, I don't really care about cast bars on tanks, so I have them in a much different spot than I do on my healer. So I have a DC 6.0 and a DC 6.0 healer. There we go. Also, I just noticed I have a 5.5, so I'm going to go to delete and delete that 5.5 profile just so I can confuse myself. And sometimes things like sexy maps don't have a profile and you have to use, use global profile and you're going to have to auto do it, but that map up in the top right corner is now going to reset back to my global profile, which means all characters that have selected the global profile will look like this. And we're so close to almost being done. I'm on the last one here for threat plates. It, again, it's kind of like details. You have to click on something to then bring up this option page, but at least it's there. And you can go to default and you set your 6.0 and you're good to go with that. Time out, a quick interjection since filming this video, Dragonfright pre-patch has released and all that stuff. There's only really two ish changes that have been made here. The one thing is going to be, you have to go into edit mode. You're gonna have to go into edit mode and set up this default Blizzard UI because there are some things in here, unless you literally get add-ons for every single one you are going to need to go in here and I still do myself I use a bunch of different add-ons but you are going to have to go in here I have a full video on the channel I'll link down in the description on how to set the blizzard default UI up see what parts of it you like see what parts of it you don't like but now you go to layout and I'm going to go to my default layout that I use for all of my uh, different characters so there we go and then whenever I click X on that it will reload your UI and then now everything's nice and set for that that's the only one change. The second thing is Raven, uh, The I, I talked about in the video, Raven buffs is what I use for the Raven bar. Currently, uh, the Raven buff is not working, so this is the default Blizzard buffs, but again, with the new UI, it is movable and interchangeable, so that's fine. And the only other thing to mention is Bartender is what I use for my bars now, so slash Bartender slash BT. Um, this is Bartender. I also have a full video on Bartender available to fix up all your bars and stuff, and with all of that combined together, you should have everything to be able to make the UI 
the way you want it for your characters. But this is the big video for alts as I have other videos for other stuff. Okay, cool, back to it. I don't have all of my add-ons set up here yet. I do have another list here under slash command. So one of the things is Gladius is gonna pop up, especially when you have a brand new character. It's gonna pop up, it's gonna be in the dead middle of your screen. I usually just drag it over to right here. I'll mess with that once I start PVPing on that character, if I do PVP on that character. Um, and then I just do slash Gladius space hide and it just gets it away for off right off the bat. So that's the first one. Then another one that's not there is Omni CC. So Omni CD. And that's going to pop up this other menu that's not in the other thing right there. Go to Profiles, Default, change to 6.0. Cool, close with that one. Next one up is Shadow Unit Frames, which is slash SUF. And I'm going to bring that up here. And I go to my Profiles in this one. And I go to 6.0. There we go. And then that one looks nice. And again, this list of slash commands is going to be something that you will have to kind of remember. And this little thing I have and this little list I have is why I do that or I would I would be constantly forgetting things and then you'd be in the moment in the middle of combat or something and not realize. Here's my Raven cast bar. I have a whole bunch of options here. Oh my gosh. 6.0. Done. Then for my mouse over tooltip, it's slash, slash MTT space show, and it shows this little green box right here and a little gray red box. So this green box is gonna be what my mouse over is. You see, I'm in, oh, sorry, the red box is my mouse over. And whenever I mouse over something, it pops up right there in the corner. So I put that right here next to my map, love that. And this I put up here, and this is whenever I click an item in the, ch in the chat or something, it'll pop up right here. And now I take slash, slash MTT space hide, and they go away. That's one's a little bit, a little bit different one. Another one is uh, deadly boss mods slash dbm slash dbm is not working so i'm going to go to add-ons right here scroll down and sure enough i don't have the core of them turned on so once you turn all those back on slash dbm and unless you're not unless you're leveling you don't have to really worry about that options profiles default change to 6.0 cool and the last one is slash capping for my battlegrounds capping uh add-on and then that goes to 6.0 and another reload and we're done Look at that, there we go, Ma I can breathe now. Whew, we got our buffs in the right spots, everything's looking good. Now, down here, you can see I have uh, a different setup here. This is Domino's, whenever I mouse over it, you can see where my key bindings are of all my different abilities and buttons and stuff. So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, also my mini map button is in a little different spot, you do have to drag that up there. I th thought I'd lost it sometimes. So if I go to this right here and I bring up this whole situation, if I right click on it instead, it brings all this stuff. I'm gonna bring it just to here so it doesn't look too cluttered for you guys. So for profile, in general, 6.0 is my final version where I do this and anything up here is gonna be weak ores. You do have to make weak ores for each of your classes. I have whole videos uh, that are on that as well, uh, coming soon. So here I like to do my setup mode. I have a purposeful setup mode. I'm gonna show you this right here. So in setup mode, I see all of these buttons are much bigger and I have buttons everywhere. Let me show you. So clicking that mini map button, go to Domino's, right clicking it. Uh, I can go to profiles. This is my final setup. Once I have everything good, I like to not see them anymore and I build weak Weakores, and I put them all here to make it look nice and clean. Uh, Weakores videos are going to be coming coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. I like to switch up to, this is 6.0 base, and 6.0 base lets me see everything. It adds more bars around here. So if I look at what's going on here with a left click, it shows me where all these bars are located. This is Domino's. I will have an add-on for that as well, and I'm able to kind of see where, everything, where I can put everything. So how I do this and why I love Domino's for this is I can very easily move things around. I have my health bar here. I have my resource bar in the center. That's a Weakora, and I have some, some abilities here. I I can move them around and put them wherever I want. I don't want that one. Intervenes a tanking cooldown. Charge is going to be, I'll put this right here. And these are all visual. These have no button presses whatsoever. And I can build myself a very super easy weak auras type of situation where I'm like, okay, I have execute. It's going to be right here because I want to see it, etc., etc. And then I could bring my spell book. And if I want to put my actual key binds down here, I can key bind different things down here and put things where I want mechanically with my key binds down here. And then I can put things like, okay, I want my fear cooldown. I want that to be here. Rallying Cry is going to be here. Heroic Leap is going to go over here next to my charge. And I can organize things visually here and mechanically, as far as the keybinds go here, because I have all my keybinds, A, Q, R, T, all that kind of stuff, I N, one, two, three, four, five, all those things are here. I can bind them, and once I'm all good and bound, then I can go here, back to this setup, right click this, go to fading, turn it down, and now I'm in a much better spot. So I'm gonna go through here real quick, move these things around, and get it, get it set up to where you can kind of see what it would look like with a very simple, quick setup. There you go, and now with a super simple setup, I have my tanking cooldowns right here with taunt, offensive rotational abilities right here, and CC, and interrupting CC things over here. 
all very clean and simple. I don't have to build a super fancy weak aura for it. This is an alt character. Maybe I don't even want to have weak auras. I want to do some simple dungeons, level up, whatever, and I'm good to go. If I want to change any of my keybinds, it can go down here and move some things around where I want to put my actual keybind buttons to be, and it doesn't affect the visual at all. And before I go, I'm going to show you the same exact thing on a brand new character. So again, this super simple mage now is just all over the place. I'm gonna do the same exact thing, get him ready to go. I'm actually gonna time it this time. I'll have my editor do a little fast forward version of it, but it's gonna be a legit timer, fast forwarded so you can see how long it takes to do it on a brand new character. Go. Done. There we go. So now I have my entire little mage set up right here. I got my health bar and my targets and all that stuff looks good. I don't actually have a map yet, which is funny because I'm still in the starting zone. I just started the character. And my only spell in my entire spell book is Frostbolt, so I'm gonna put that right here in the dead center. <laughs> oh, and Cannibalize, sure, why not? But let's put that over here. So there we go, I got my Frostbolt, which is down here. I can move it right here. All of my bindings are preset right here in their, in their little spots, nice and neat. So I can go ahead and put that on R right now and start my mage. I'm all about a efficiency here on this channel so I hope this helps you get your alts up and going I actually don't know what the time was it feels like it had to be like three minutes maybe four at most I don't know I'm just clicking in the zone get ready and now I can actually play my mage and not have to worry about like oh it's weird the weird add-ons bindings and all this stuff I got a lot more of these efficient videos coming up hopefully it makes you have more fun thinking outside the box peace